In the previous lessons, we learned about concentration, and concentration is represented by the letter M. Now, M is molarity, and we know that molarity is based on two units. And molarity basically is equal to the number of mole divided by one liter of solutions. In a solution, it consists of two things. First of all, it would have the chemical A that's being dissolved, and we call that a solute A, okay? And this solute is gonna interact with a solvent. So a solute is basically being dissolved in a solvent. An example of a solvent is water. In this lesson, we are going to look at how the concepts of molarity is used in acid and base. Well, first of all, I have the Venn diagram that describes the unique characteristic of acid and bases. Well, for acids, it always produces this H plus in a solvent, specifically water solvent in most cases. Okay. Now, sometimes they don't write H plus. They would have this right here, H three O plus. So. Basically, this H plus has reacted with water to make the H3O plus, and we have a name for this H3O plus. It is hydronium. Where we also have another name for H plus by itself. This is considered as a proton. Okay, so proton is another word for H plus. That's not talking about the proton in an atom. Another characteristic of an acid is that it has a sour taste. Think of lemon juice and vinegar. Those are examples of acids. On a pH scale, an acidic solution would have a pH less than seven. And when it reacts with metal, it would form hydrogen gas. Now here's a tricky one. When you have a solution that is made from dissolving an acid, we have to calculate pH first. Now let's go over to the bases. The bases produce an OH minus, and this is, and the name of the ions for OH minus is hydroxide. Another characteristic of a base is that it has a bitter taste, and Think of soap. If you ever taste soap before, it tastes very bitter. But on the pH scale, remember acid and base are kind of opposite to each other. In this case, if acid is less than seven, pH for a base would be greater than seven on the pH scale. And another characteristic of bases are they are very slippery. Think of soap. When you think of bases, think of soap, like hand soap. And now let's talk about calculation. When you have a solution that's made from dissolving a base, you have to calculate the pOH first. You cannot calculate pH directly from a solution that's made from a base. Now let's look at the pH scale. Why do we care about the number seven so much? Because this number seven right here, it represents a neutral values. Basically. The number of acid and the number of base are equal to each other, so that seven is right in the middle. For example, in this case, a common substance that has a pH of seven is pure water. 